everyone. Uh, welcome to this week's episode here on r and New Adventures. Uh, this is uh, Season 3 Redux, Edge of Appalachia. Anyhow, we're out here in the canoe and casting around a little bit. I've just been using the uh, little cur curly tail there and casting him around and have not had any luck at all, not even a bite. So, uh, we will give it a shot. See what happens. If you watched last week's episode, you'll know my plan had been to uh, come up here and find a place to have a shore lunch and uh, fish at the same time. Well, it didn't work out. What I want to do that at is too shallow to really fish and to be, at least to you know be any count. So I'm just kind of floating around and casting around. And that is about it, really. Give it a try right over there. Why not, right? Where I expect there to be fish, there just are no fish. So, what's up with that, y'all? Too shallow? Let me do a little spin here. Ooh, hey, got a little something on here, y'all. I'll take that. Oh, wow. Oh, he come off. It was a bluegill, y'all. My fave eats. Wow. Yeah, that almost makes me think Nightcrawler. You know, get some Nightcrawler. Of course, there is no store anywhere near around here. I would have to uh, make a run into town. Unless I need some kind of supplies, I'm not doing that. Can't believe it. Had a bluegill. Almost had him in the boat. Wow. And he was a pretty nice size bluegill too. Definitely edible. Fish like that, you know, you have four of them. You've got a fish fry. A right good one too. 
Well, maybe what I'll do, I will have to make a, a supply run. Uh, probably seven or eight days from now. So maybe I'll pick up, you know, eight or nine dozen microwaves. I do have all my bluegill hooks with me and little split shots and all that. It might be worthy. It really might. I might get to have some fish fries for the, you know, make the first two weeks of this year's adventure you just using lures and make the second two weeks a little bit of bluegill fishing with some night crawlers. I like to fish with night crawlers anyway, but you have no way to take a shower there. It can make you even stinkier, you know? I knew it. As soon as I threw it, I knew. It's going to be a snag right there. It's all right. I think I might be able to get it back. Maybe. Got it. Booyah, y'all. Lure is in hand. Terrible because now it's got me, got me thinking night crawlers. We're on shore, y'all. Float around wherever we may go and cast around. A little something there. I don't know what it was, but. I wish y'all could have seen that bluegill at least. Because I don't have a basket or nothing with me anyhow. And to keep him. And, and one bluegill is not enough for a fish fry for sure. It's about four. Four would be perfect. crap on my lure, y'all. Definitely cannot catch any fish on him like that. Grass and stuff.
Ooh, right up to the bank almost. Oh no. Here we go again. I'm going to paddle over there see if I can get my lure back. Yay, got him back, y'all. Booyah. Maybe one of these times I will learn to bring extras with me. I'm not counting on it, but maybe. Damn, son of a biscuit eater. I just got bit by something. Wow, not cool. I don't like that at all. Bit or stone. Don't know. Do know that something was on me though. And bit me. Huh. Or stone me or whatever. I got a bite or a hit, whatever you want to call it. Sure did feel like one anyways. A little bit too far away from that shoreline over there, over that way, for me to reach it all the way with this little lightweight lure. Yeah, I might have to think long and hard about that uh, whole nightcrawler thing. I'm already stinky enough out here on an adventure. And you add in nightcrawlers, and then you have, uh, you know, double stinky going on, you know? Maybe eventually we'll get some catfishing in on this adventure. I don't know. Oh no. I do it might have to be, you know, go out on the island not too far away from camp down there and uh, walk to the other end of the island down there where I went down and cast around on a few different episodes and uh, set up a chair, 
take a light where it starts getting dark and maybe hang out right there, you know, try some catfishing in that area. Got it back though. Keep thinking about the night crawlers, I'm telling you. Well, hey, got a little something here, y'all. He ain't nothing big. Maybe he's a gill. What is he? Oh, he's a little striped bass, y'all. He's pretty cool. Wow. Check him out. He's pretty freaking awesome. I haven't caught a striped bass since I was a kid. Back he goes, y'all. And away he went. Let's see, what do I want to do here? I want to turn around. That's what I want to. Incoming tree branch, y'all. I would like to know what that was that bit me in the ankle earlier. Ooh, I had a hit just now. Hey, we got a little something here. Oh, he come off. Oh, that keeps happening. That was a little bass, y'all. He was pretty cool. 
I'm sure you could hear him splashing around and stuff, so you know there was a fish on. Wow. I'll also tell you. Oh, thought we had a fish. I think we had a snag. But it did come out, so. Let's check him out. Yep, he looks pretty normal, I think. I'll have to look at it a second here, y'all. There we go. That's more better. Now let's get us back, get us back in line here. Hope nothing grabs that lure while it's in the water. This looks good for a couple casts, for sure. Hey, that, sit down that paddle too hard or hit the boat with the paddle, and man, does it make a racket. Got a little something if he stays on. You can hear him splashing around, Lee, so you know. Legit. You know, he's just a little rock bass. Sometimes I hate rock bass, but at this time, I will uh, I will take him, you know, as far as the catch goes. Oh, still, dude. You ain't helping a thing. I take that back. He is not a rock bass. He is a little bluegill of some type. Check him out. He is pretty cool. I'll take it. Yeah. Back he goes, y'all. This ain't so bad. Just kind of paddling around and casting and stuff. I'll take that, you know. I'm going to straighten the boat back up, though. There we go. Now I'm trying to set that paddle down a little bit easier this time. Weird, just uh, sometimes I feel a little stuff. Feels like little taps, and I'm not sure if it's a fish or if it's a uh, a snag. You know, a branch or something laying down there in the water. about to be into the bank again and that's all right I do not mind we're just going to back this up a little bit
good enough for a couple casts at least. Oh, right in the tree, y'all. Got lucky, he come right out. I've got lucky a number of times today. I'm gonna hurry up and get real on that one. I know it's shallow down there. Did not want to get into any rocks. Well, keep winding up right back over here at the bank, y'all. I'm gonna kind of turn sideways a little bit. I swear if that was a fish, but it sure did feel like it. Wow, that was weird. Yeah, I'm not that, you know, that experienced at lure fishing. Well, with this little lure here, I kind of am for bluegills, but other stuff I just don't know. And normally when a gill grabs it, he's, he's automatically hooked, you know. And I'm not experienced in fishing this waterway either. My adventures I usually have down Tennessee. Hey, we got a little something, guys. if you don't get away. It was a little bit bigger than anything else that we've recently caught. But this is four pound test. I don't want him to break it. Yeehaw, y'all. Oh, he's another little striped bass. Gotta let him play out a little bit, y'all. I don't want him breaking this line. Well, he is not bad at all. Hold still, dude, and we'll help you out here. Wow. Kind of just about getting. There, we got him. Two we, y'all. Take burn. Yeah. Check him out. Tell me he is not cool. Let me get a picture pose here for that way I can just snap a picture. I pick right out of the video. All right, put the mouth on him, y'all. Is he not cool or what? And on that note, back he goes. I think I'm going to uh, call it here. And uh, I hope you have enjoyed this week's episode of Fishing with Island Rob here on r, &R Canoe Adventures. Uh, not a lot of catching going on, but some catching. I will take that. Uh, I'm going to have me a vape. And I'll uh, tune in next week for next week's episode. And 
on Saturdays. Every Saturday's a new video. Uh, we'll be right here in this spot, casting around. And uh, along with that half hour of fishing, which is what I'm going to make it, we will have uh, tonight's dinner episode. So I'm just going to blend them right in together. At least I believe that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I change my mind. And uh, until then, y'all, bye for now.